Miles. I was getting used to hearing that voicemail of yours. Dropped you a pin. Wanna come through? Hey, I'm Glaren. What? Too busy to visit your fam? No. I was just giving you space after you got out. Don't need it. Besides, we gotta settle some things. We do? See you soon, kid. Just go see him and get it over with, Miles. Then we focus on whoever took Lee and Scorpion. Something tells me they're planning something big. Another day, another disaster befalls our beautiful city. And guess who's to blame? In what should have been a routine prison transfer, the Spider-Men felt the need to inject themselves into a situation that was already being handled by the proper authorities and completely botched it. A new group of mercenaries made their presence known in the hijacking of the supervillain Scorpion and Mr. Negative. Not much is known about this new collective, other than their penchant for animal skins. But one thing is abundantly clear. The spider did nothing to impede them. Had law enforcement been allowed to do their jobs, these criminals wouldn't be in the way. <laughs> Looks like we have an eyewitness calling in. Color, you're live. Hi, Jonah. Thanks for having me. Just want to point out that what you're saying is a total lie. Here we go. I was there on the pier. Law enforcement was completely outmatched. The Spider-Men saved countless lives and almost stopped those bow and arrow geeks, too. First, you're lucky to be alive. Second, let me ask you, just this week alone, can you guess how much property damage those vigilantes are responsible for? No, but that's not the issue here. I don't have time to get into a circuitous whataboutism argument when there are costume criminals reducing our city to rubble on a daily basis. Think of all the shipping delays we're gonna face because of this. When you can't shave because your favorite cream is trapped in shipping hell, make sure you thank the Spider-Man. Time for the bureaucrats to do their job. We need action. And also, a word from our sponsors.
We really gotta do this with the mask on? Depends. Relax. I'm not trying to get my ass kicked by my nephew again. Your dad used to give me that exact same look. Kid? Martin Lee. Someone got him out. I know what you're thinking, Miles. This is not on you. We can't let him live up here. It's just another kind of prison. It's not that easy. Never said it was. But sometimes you gotta push the past away so you can make room for the future. That's actually why I call. Need your help getting something. Could get it myself, but... Parole means Prowl is retired. What is it? Just some old tech I gotta get off the street. Stashed it by a decommissioned Roxxon lab near Central Park. Yeah, I know the one. Are you really putting Prowler behind you? Behind us. You getting some? How did you... Miles, that Lee business? Don't be stupid. Yeah, yeah. I'm serious, Miles. I've heard this dude can turn your brain into scrambled eggs. Leave it alone. Now, what else is going on with you? Our school. College. What do you like? I don't know. So there is someone. 